G'day YouTube. Super excited because there's two things new that I haven't used before, okay? This lens and also the Earth UR TH polarized filter. I've, I've used a polarized filter on a drone and it makes a huge difference, but I've never used a polarized filter on like a camera. I'm keen to see what it looks like. My understanding with polarized filters is it's the same as polarized glasses. And when you wear polarized glasses, it takes away the glare on the ocean. So if you've ever looked at the ocean with polarized glasses on and like it just looks so clear and blue and beautiful, and then you take them off and it looks like shiny and white almost. So that's what the ocean will look like at the moment. And so I thought it'd be cool to test it now. I bought it quite a few weeks ago, but I haven't had a chance to use it. So I'm pretty sure it'll fit on my new um, Sony lens, my 70 to 200. One thing to say about the 7200, I love it how the whole range is so short, between 70 to 200. And then also I love it how the lens doesn't extend, it's all internal. Okay, rookie error. I realized this lens is 77 millimeters, so it won't actually fit my 82 millimeter filter, but that's all right. It does fit on my 24 to 70 millimeter. So I've put the polarized filter on my 24 to 70. So let's go to the beach. So I had to um, stop because I accidentally dropped the filter on the sand in the ocean, so I better um, stop using it. Back in my office. So my understanding, the way that polarizing works is light's obviously in waves. When the light comes from the sun, it goes, it's like going up and down like a wave in one way. Each time it bounces off something, it changes direction. And so rather than going up and down, up and down, it goes left and right, left and right. And the light bounces off the water, say, then it's going left and right, left and right. And what polarizing sunglasses and polarizing filters do is they block out all light that is going, or whatever the opposite one is from the, what the sun does. So when the sun, shoots its <laughs> shoots its light out then it hits something and bounces off something reflection then it it takes out that light okay so that's my understanding of what polarizing does first thing i'll note you notice when you use this filter polarizing filter you'll definitely lose some exposure so it'll the whole image will technically will essentially appear darker which means you're going to have to exp you know compensate for that on your exposure setting. So I definitely wanna be using this more, but now I'm gonna to have to be exposing probably differently than I was previously. Um, so you can see the difference, right? Just, it, it immediately makes it darker, but different to like an ND filter where it's essentially making everything darker, you're making reflected light darker. But I guess because all light is essentially reflected off something, then majority of your image is gonna be darker. And then especially at somewhere like a beach where there's so much reflections happening, then you're gonna lose a significant amount of light. So that's something to keep in mind. What I can notice with these images is that I would say there's more detail and a broader range of colors that I notice. So if you flick up one with the filter and then one without, and then back to the one with it, with, then without, then with, you will see that there's actually a broader range of colors. And I have edited those ones um, just to kind of like try and match each other. But if you, when I try and match them, you can actually see how much more detail, especially in the clouds um, that, that you'll notice because what it's doing is, is taking out the reflected light, which is, you know, I think a lot in that kind of haze of the sky and stuff and you can see more detail and it's almost like the dehaze 
filter on camera raw when you're editing it. I could really like kind of how it looks and how much kind of more vibrant you can get the colors and also how much more detail is held. Because the thing is you can't, obviously it depends on whether you like that look or not, but you can also always make it more hazy later um, when you edit your photos, but you can't really bring that detail back. And so that's definitely why I'm gonna be using this a lot more and testing it out and trying to see what it, could, what it can do. They're my first thoughts with using it. Other thing to note is that it does like spin around. My assumption is that when you spin it around, you'll change where the predominant amount of reflection is coming from. That, that's what I'm assuming it does. And so it's probably best when you're using it just to like flick it around and try and find the best angle. But yeah, like I said, I'm definitely gonna be using this more and seeing what it's like to shoot with in the ocean. I think it's gonna be some cool, some cool discoveries. Let me know if you have any questions, questions of it. So earth polarized filter. I've got to get one for my 72 to 70 to 200 now. This wasn't a sponsored video at all. I just purchased it off the website to try it out. Happy with it. I'm sure you can get other polarizing filters. Thanks for watching.